and welcome to the Clay County Chamber of Commerce Chamber Connection here on Windstream. We want to uh, take the time to thank our Windstream personnel putting this on for us. It really helps the Chamber uh, get all the word out and can introduce you to a lot of the personalities here in Clay County. So our first personality that we have, and she's uh, no stranger to the scene, she's no stranger to the movies, um, and she's also one of our best directors over here at the Peacock Performing Arts Center. Um, and I'd like to introduce Laurel Adams. She is the director over at the Peacock Performing Arts Center, and she's going to give us some information about Lend Me a Tenor, which is the new play that is uh, scheduled to come out uh, next week, I believe. Well, yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, here's Lend Me a Tenor, and despite the graphic, it is not a musical comedy. It is a comedy, well, actually, it's a farce, which means it's over-the-top comedy. <laughs> Slapstick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there are some musical snippets in it, which uh -huh. is the tenor part, but it is not uh, a musical comedy. Yeah, I think a lot of the men, uh, the men are the ones that are least likely to go to musicals. And uh -huh. when they see this, this will be great for them to know that, no, it's not. It's going to be funny. You're going to laugh and you're going oh, to have fun. Oh, yes, definitely. Tell us some of the characters. Who's the main character? The main character is Max, and he's the wannabe star. He wants to be a singer, and he's fully aware of his girlfriend having a slight crush on a world-famous tenor, oh. Tito Morelli. And Tito is coming tonight <laughs> to the Cleveland Grand Opera, and that's where Max works. And he finds out that she has a crush on him, and now he's really motivated to sing well. And he tells her, I sing, I can do And she just laughs at him because oh. nobody believes him. Well, then he has to decide how is he going to convince his girlfriend that he's a great singer. And that's what everybody has to come and see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, there's a lot of returns of uh, the actors and actresses. Yes. Um, a lot of our actors return uh, simply because they enjoy acting. Mm -hmm. And there might be a role that's right for them because not everybody can do every role. So people look for the audition announcement and then decide whether there's a role that they could audition for. Mm -hmm. And Suzanne loves to do farce and she's always in our pit, you know, for the musical. <laughs> right. And one year, uh, gee, I don't know, three, four years ago, she decided that, ah, what the heck. And so she auditioned <laughs> and she was marvelous. She Just is. Just marvelous. I love watching her. Yeah. So she's done, this is her fifth show mm -hmm. now and uh, she's a returnee <clears throat> and several others are, you know, every once in a while, once a year, they will return to do another show. We do have one brand new person to the oh. uh, Hayesville theater scene and she comes up from Atlanta uh, she's moved here. She and her boyfriend have moved here, and they're going to be uh, doing that new business down on the square where the old butcher shop, I think it was. Oh, uh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, that's their, uh, that's their new business. Oh. So she wanted to know, is there a theater at least where I could do what I love to do? And <gasps> so she auditioned, and she's wonderful. Oh, that so, is fantastic. Yeah, we're very happy. And that's Brittany Redding. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, that, that downtown brewery that they're putting uh -huh. together is going to be phenomenal. I think Just, so, too. Mm, they, they, I know they have a... a a restaurant down in Chambly, Georgia, called the Southbound. I'm not sure. I believe that's it. That. And because several of us have gone down and and uh, tried it out to mm -hmm. see what kind of food they have. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, that's going to be interesting. That's great. They're kind of wonderful. We're getting more Atlanta people up here then. Yes, and we're getting more business downtown. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah, I know of a couple that are getting ready to open up too, but we have to wait till they pull the veil off before uh -huh. I can announce it. But okay. There's a couple more. Now, you've brought with you your guest. Yes. My guest has brought a guest. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Karen Sermons, who is mm -hmm. the publicist for right. Lend Me a Tenor. She's been doing all the writing in the paper. Uh -huh. That's been fantastic. Uh -huh. Oh, well, thank you. You really have a super talent. <laughs> I taught English for 37 years, so I've done a oh. fair amount of writing, but this is fun. 
this kind of writing, especially because I get behind the scenes mm -hmm. and I see all the components that go into making a successful play. Not just the actors, right. but the set and the backstage crew and the costumes. It's really intricate and complex mm -hmm. what it takes to pull off, but to get all the entrances and exits through five doors, to get all those <laughs> right, I mean, that's monumental right there. And I get to see all that mm -hmm. while I'm writing the series of articles, so it's a job I love doing. Uh, I hope you're taking your series of articles and putting them into a little book. I do. Oh, I keep good. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great because that would be something nice to look back on or yeah. even later on down the road when there's another play coming up. Well, Karen, thank you so much for your co contribution to this. Um, I know I, I'm the same way. I've been taking pictures mm -hmm. along the way because the normal photographer um, is out of town on vacation. So I got all excited because I got to go do that. And I get to watch it from, yeah, the beginning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and see what really goes into this. Uh, I think a lot of people don't realize when they show up at the, at the play what all is involved in, yeah. in yeah. weeks and weeks and weeks of, mm -hmm. you know, going mm -hmm. over everything and mm -hmm. detailing. Well, I've also acted under Laurel's direction, so I can testify. <laughs> it's weeks and weeks and weeks <laughs> of work. She yeah. is a taskmaster, but that's why things work so well. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else is coming um, down the pike at Christmas time? Is there any other? Well, not for, not for us. Not to, uh, not that the. Uh, the players. The, the players are not offering anything, but we do have It's a Wonderful Life coming back this year. Oh, and that is always such a joyful, yeah. I, I love it. I just love watching that show. Uh, yeah, that is, it just gives you that good Christmassy feeling. Mm -hmm. too. Uh -huh. It's mm -hmm. all over. Well, I know uh, Lynn and friends, she's going to be showing up um, on August 26th, so be sure and give a call. I think your kids will love this. She shows up with a lot of animated costumes and and different uh, animals so it's it's definitely for the children it's definitely going to be a family play uh, it's not a play it's, it's a ventriloquist ven du you know um, that okay a ventriloquist yeah. act and um, yeah I hadn't read up on that mm -hmm. unfortunately so I'm glad you were able to interject that <laughs> thank you mm -hmm. um, so that's um, August 26 and you'll need to call the theater to get your tickets uh, if you want to get tickets for this play coming up, you better do it quick. Mm -hmm. I do think that this is going to be a sellout every weekend. I hope so. Yes. Um, just from what I've seen and heard, I can definitely say it's going to be a sellout. So um, I believe the number is 389-2787. Call that number. Uh, make arrangements to come down and pick up your tickets. Mm -hmm. um, you can put them on will call. You can charge them to your credit card. Um, and you can also do it online. Oh, you can go online mm -hmm. now. Yes. What, what would they go? They would go to thepeacocknc.org. Okay, and they can go ahead and order their tickets mm -hmm. and they can pick their seats and everything mm -hmm. else. Absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, well, what else do you have to tell us about? Oh, we have auditions coming up. Oh. For the next play, the last one of the season. Oh. But... And the auditions are coming up. As usual, they kind of overlap the last... Um, the closing performances right. of Lend Me a Tenor, we're auditioning for Angel Street. And those of you who appreciate old black and white movies might remember this particular play as Gaslight. Oh, oh yes. yeah. And with Charles Boyer Ooh. <laughs> and Ingrid Bergman. And it was a play before it was a movie, but it's been filmed several times and it's published, the play is published here in the United States as Angel Street, not Gaslight. Oh, now what are you looking for? What type of actors, actresses? Uh, two, two men, um, the, the lead male who is the, the uh, gentleman who's just married a young woman. The woman is a little younger than he is and they have moved back to a family house that she owns. Mm -hmm. The problem was that many, many years ago, the aunt who owned that house was killed in a very mysterious way. And so we have that mystery going on. And somehow the husband is not as, 
he's not as uh, effusive and loving as he once oh. was, and we don't know what's going on. Oh, that does sound like it. And when will that be playing then? In Oh, well, let me see. In January? Oh, no. no. Oh, no. This Ooh, is October. October, October 12th oh, through yes. 14th and the 19th through the 21st. Ah, so. But you are starting to take auditions. Auditions, yes, are August 18th and 25th. Those are both Saturdays, and it's 10 to 1 on those days. And then Monday and Tuesday in between, August 20th and 21st, from 6 to 8 p.m. And scripts are in the office right oh. now for checkout if you want to read what you're getting into. And there is a $5 refundable deposit along mm -hmm. with that script checkout. Oh, so this is going to be a thriller. Oh, yes. Oh, there's no question about it. The, the husband is slowly driving his wife insane. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, can, I can figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not for those reasons. <laughs> Laurel, do, since we're talking about October, do mm -hmm. we need to back up and make absolutely plain the dates of Lend Me a Okay, tenor. I can certainly be And I know Pam up. said it opens next weekend, but, right. but we, we, might, yeah. we might want to be clear about the dates. <laughs> All right, Lend Me a Tenor, mm -hmm. August 10th through the 12th, and then the following weekend, August 17th yeah. through the 19th. Mm -hmm. And that's the weekend where we have our first audition right. for the next one. Now, the first night, the opening night, mm -hmm. they usually do a big, they usually opening do a big night reception, reception yes. and food. So anyone that would like to uh, volunteer to bring cookies, um, anything, a platter of uh, veggies, just to put in there for uh, everyone's um, consumption after the play. Uh, opening night is a great, is a great. Night. Well, you get a bonus for your ticket money. That's you get, true. You, you get, get food. all that fabulous mm -hmm. food. And that, I tell you what, the town of Hayesville really does incredible food. So. <laughs> we do. <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back, and we'll be talking a little bit more about uh, the play coming up. And uh, be sure to come back and talk. See us. Welcome back to the Chamber Connection. Uh, today is Clay County Chamber of Commerce Day. My name is Pam Roman. I'm the Executive Director for the Chamber. And uh, my guests have been Laurel Adams and uh, Karen Sermons. But right now we're going to get to a little bit of what's going on in Hayesville. So much has gone on this past month. And now this month coming up in September and October is just going to be a, a monumental uh, three months. Right now, the Hayesville Farmer's Market is still in order, and we are meeting down there on Thursdays um, until August 30th from 7, 4 to 7 p.m. That's every Thursday, 4 to 7 p.m., down on the square. Uh, there's people down there that I have bought all sorts of um, herbs from. There's cookies. There's the goat cheese lady, Donna Gaines. There's just all sorts of information and things that you can get. Um, as well as fresh garlic. Okay, the Hayesville Farmer's Market is continuing until August 30th, uh, every Thursday from 4 to 7 p.m. You can get all types of uh, herbs, you can get goat cheese, you can uh, get fresh picked garlic. Um, you can also talk to different people about the courthouse. You can go through the courthouse and have a tour. Um, as everybody knows, the new courthouse is, or the old courthouse is now mm -hmm. the new courthouse and it's open. Um, and it's open Tuesday through Saturday from, uh, I believe it's 10, no, 11 to 4. But they will stay open a little later on Thursday nights if you're there at the farmer's market. Uh, so you can go through it. So be sure and stop by and see everybody, see all the fresh produce that they're bringing out. Um, they also have entertainment down there while you're uh, shopping. So uh, come on down. It's, um, it, it's just a pleasant evening afternoon, walking through all the tents, seeing what everybody has, and listening to the music. 
It's all about Hayesville. <laughs> then on August 17th, Holtry, or Holman Autry Band will be playing at the CCCRA free summer concert on Friday nights. That'll be August 17th, the Holman Autry Band. And then on August 24th is the Modern Vinyl, which I have heard both of these, mm -hmm. and Modern Vinyl too is fantastic. Um, bring your chairs, bring, just come down there about 6.30, get your play set up. It's, it's wonderful. We had 250 people back uh, this past Friday. Um, everybody was just sitting around talking, having fun. That's wonderful. Yeah, we like it. Yeah, it was first. I actually was so relaxed. I put my head back on my chair and almost fell asleep. <laughs> and it was the first time I had stopped going 90 miles an hour mm -hmm. in weeks. And I, it just all caught up with me. And I thought, oh, wow. <laughs> so I just nodded off for a minute. But it was great. August 11th, out in Brasstown Community Center, Clay Logan brings in all sorts of... Um, uh, people that are band players, they've had Brush Fire, Raven in Red, Chuck Nation's band, which is great. But on August 11th, Third Degree uh, will be performing, and then August 25th is Just Us. Now, this the doors open at 6 p.m., concert starts at 7. Uh, it's a $5 entry fee, but it is well worth it. You're in air conditioning, you're sitting there, and you're listening to these great bands that Clay has pulled together. Now on August 11th, also you have a little conflict here because Hot Summer Nights at Gold, David Goldhagen's uh, Art Glass, he will be uh, featuring Monica Spears on August 11th. Get there about 6.30. You have to call for reservations. Um, they cannot, they, it, there's just such an overload of people that they have to have reservations. And his number is 389-8847. Um, you can bring your picnic basket, your, your wine, your iced tea, whatever you, uh, you know, want to bring. Uh, sit at these wonderful tables, comfortable chairs, sit on the lake and listen to Monica Spears. And then while David fires inside, it um, all of a sudden he brings out this piece and he pulls a ticket and it could be your ticket and you Ooh. walk home with it. So it does cost $10, per $10 per person, but it's well worth the money. On August 18th, there is an auction going on with uh, the American Legion Post 532. Hayesville, cordially, they cordially invite you and your family and friends to come out and participate in it. Um, Charlie Shelton will be our auctioneer, and it's going to be from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. This is a great way to uh, give back to your community, come out, buy something at the auction, and that goes right to the American Legion. Um, this will be at the Brasstown Community Center. There will be barbecue with dessert, and they're going to have the Brasstown Pickers. So not only do you get to do a live auction, you get to listen, you get to eat. I mean, what more could you do? And this is going to support our veterans uh, locally. So please remember that August 18th uh, from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. out at the Brasstown Community Center. And if ever you uh, want to know how to get there or anything else about this, you can always call the chamber at 828-389-3704, and anyone that answers the phone will be able to help you. Obviously, we have a building for sale. <laughs> <laughs> this is the chamber building. Um, we are uh, move, We have moved downtown Hayesville, which has been a wonderful, wonderful um, opportunity for us, and we took it as quickly as we could. But now we have this beautiful building that is so enchanting. It's mm -hmm. got a fireplace in it. It's got two bathrooms. It's got a little kitchenette. It can be used for a m number of things. So if you're interested and you want to start a business or mm -hmm. you even want to do a uh, um, business where they um, you come and stay. <laughs> I like a little uh, hotel. Like a bed and breakfast? Bed and breakfast, except I'm not going to cook breakfast. So <laughs> it's going to be a bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, something coming up uh, it's going to be Butts and Spuds. Now, this is September 1st. And this is going to be the, the Labor Day weekend. We are looking for the guy that just loves to barbecue. And if you can do a barbecue butt, you can enter the contest and be a, a possibility win $300. Uh, that's first prize. Second prize is $200. And first prize, I believe, is $50. Third prize, yeah. First, second, and third. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Eventually. It all Eventually <laughs> comes out. <laughs> I have all this knowledge in my brain that's trying to get out. 
and uh, I'm trying to control it. So anyway, at Butts and Spuds, we have festival. It's, it's great. The chamber puts it on. Uh, we have Kansas City judges there, and they will be judging the contest. We've had this for five years now, and uh, everyone seems to have a good time. So come on out um, September 1st. If, you're, if you want to buy a butt, you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cooked butt. <laughs> it is a barbecued butt. <laughs> We'll it doesn't sound any better. No, <laughs> no it doesn't. Just so just come on out. <laughs> All right. Um, we also have a pet celebration coming up in September, and I'm going to go ahead and announce this now only because we need to get uh, entrance in it. And the uh, pet celebration is going to be um, September, um, September 22nd. It's down on the square. This is the seventh year. Um, and uh, there's reduced cost vaccine clinics. But we have uh, openings for vendors. If you are an animal vendor of any kind, please call the chamber or Dr. Hilti Burr, and he can uh, sign you up if you'd like to be in on it. Um, also, the Pumpkin Chunkin', we have a Jeep Festival this year coming. And the Jeep Festival is going to be have an after-hour celebration along with it. Um, the after-hour celebration is $5. You'll come back into the uh, vicinity for all the festivals that are going on. We're having a battle of the bands. We have four bands coming. And there will also be the beer and wine will be available. We'll have food. It's just going to be a real fun night. And then at the end, we're going to do fireworks. So by all means, get yourself ready for the pumpkin chunkin'. And that's what I've got to talk about for me now. Let's just reiterate all the facts and figures about Lend Me a Tenor. <laughs> <You're on. laughs> it's your turn now. <laughs> Lend me a tenor. Not a musical. <laughs> Definitely a farcical comedy. And the dates are August 10th through the 12th and the 17th through the 19th. And tickets are available now at the box office. You can call 828-389-2787 or go online at thepeacocknc.org. Yes, and when they do their play on Sunday, it's a Sunday afternoon Sunday matinee. matinee. Mm -hmm. So any of you that don't like to drive at night, this would be the perfect time for you to be able to come to the play mm -hmm. and go home in the daylight. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's... Um, now, do you still need volunteers? Uh, I know... For They're, staffing the lobby mm -hmm. and ushering and that sort of thing, yes, absolutely. All you need to do is call that number, mm -hmm. that box office number, and yeah. the coordinator will take care of it. It's a great time to be able to kind of uh, get involved with your community by volunteering at the Peacock. And uh, it's fun. There's the concession stand, and there's the uh, greeters, and there's the door openers. So there's a lot of things that volunteers can do, and if you're new here in town, Get involved with your community in, in this kind of uh, fashion because this is, mm -hmm. this is what it's all about, being in a small town. Um, well, we're just winding down our time now. Karen, did you have anything else to add? Only that I hope everyone will come see this play and, and shed tears with me because I always laugh until I cry yes. at these farces. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely funny, and this may be the best yet. Oh, uh, it, I, I think so, and I can't wait. Um, and just to go out on a, another note, uh, Pumpkin Chunkin' is right around the corner. I cannot believe we're already into August. Uh -huh. This is just <sighs> amazing to me. We only have two and a half more months before Pumpkin Chunkin' will be here. So get ready. This is going to be an exciting year. This is our 10th anniversary. We're pulling out all stops. If you have a Jeep and you would like to be in part of the Jeep Festival end of it, give us a call at the chamber at 389-3704. Uh, and we'll certainly get you in. Um, it's just going to be a, an incredible, different uh, venue this time. We're at the same place, but we're moving things around and doing things a little bit different. So once again, thank you for tuning in and watching us on uh, Windstream. We thank our Windstream partner and uh, hope to see you next time. Uh -huh.